Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today we're showing you how to fix that you can't import MP3 in DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to go over three solutions here. So not only going to do the emoji solutions, I'm going to do multiple solutions to really make sure that you can import that MP3 file or any other media file for that matter. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now I think you get the idea. It's when you right click and you do import media or even if you have like a different tab right open here, you can see like me right here and you have a song and you want to drag it here and basically nothing happens. It doesn't appear, meaning that for some reason DaVinci Resolve can't read it. Now in the more recent versions of DaVinci Resolve, if your DaVinci Resolve is up to date, it has an easier time reading emojis. So that's a bit updated now, but if it's still the case, you of course want to rename it. As you can see right here, there we go. But then you can import it and you can still have the problem. So what you can also do is right click here, do show more options. Go to properties, details, then right here you see title. So you want to click here and actually also remove the emoji right here. And you can click OK. So that also makes sure that the title right here is in fact also in case the song has a title right here is, as I said, also without an emoji. As you can see, if I import it now, I shouldn't have a problem. There you go. It's right here. Now for the second example here. So I have the second song. It's a M4A file. As you can see, if I try to drag it here. That is something that DaVinci Resolve also cannot read. But that means that we have to change how you can actually do that. There's two ways. So first I'm going to show you like this is you basically go to view here, show and do file name extensions. As you can see right here, the first one was an MP3, but these two right here are M4A. So what you want to do then is just simply rename it. Now don't worry, you can also rename anything that's behind the dots. So what you do then is just MP3. <laughs> and so as it disappears, you just have to say yes right here. As you can see, if I want to drag it for here right now, I can in fact right now upload it right here. But then in case that doesn't work, you actually have to convert the file in question. I'm going to show you as well. Now while I'm Google right here, I'm just going to type convert any audio to MP4 as you can see here. I just want to go to the first one, which is online audio converter. We're going to select this one. We want to do open file here and we are going to select the third example here. So song 3.m4a, which once again, remember that that is actually something that DaVinci Resolve cannot read. So then we just wait a little bit. As you can see, when that's done, you can actually go to the second step here, which is selecting the one you want. So you can also do to wave, for example, if you will. But we want it to be MP3 here. As you can see here, the quality, it can be standard. So 128 kbps, but you can also easily do the best version, which is 320 kbps. But if your audio track is too long, I don't want to do that. You can always go for standard or even consider good. And you can also go here and do advanced settings and we can actually do so you still have the BPS here. That was good. But you can also, for example, do this one right here. And I definitely also advise you to put that to 48,000 kilohertz right here. And this one once again to 320, if you will. And there we go. Then we can click convert. Simply converting. And then we're going to download our file. Downloading up in the right corner here. And as you can see right here, we can do shown folder. It will be in my downloads. It added the site name in here, but you can just simply rename that. Just gonna remove this right here. Click OK. I'm actually gonna put this into my the file that uh, the other songs are in. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just gonna paste it right here. And as you can see, we have it right here. And now we are obviously gonna try the same with the other two files. Just go ahead, take this one, and I'm actually gonna drag it right here. And there you go. As you can see, three different solutions, three different ways on how you could actually make sure that that MP3 file, or as I said, any other media file for that matter in DaVinci Resolve, you can now easily import it and actually use that audio file in question for whatever you are doing. In any case, guys, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.